Hi everyone and welcome to episode 13 of Sweet Han, Caribbean Cooking with Serena. I'm Serena and this episode is the third in my cook-along series. Now in previous cook-alongs, I have featured well-known, um, very established Caribbean personalities and walked them through one of my recipes and sometimes they've shared some of their own. Today I'm taking it a little bit outside of the box but um, still trying Tropical, still island based, but this time it's my best friend from college, Lin Lee, who's based on the island of Hawaii. And she is going to be making my Trinidad Carrot Punch, which you can get in my ebook, um, Glam by Request, at glambyrequest.com. And she's also making two Hawaiian desserts for us as well. And it's I, one thing I love about um, looking at cuisines from other areas that are also tropical is how they make and use ingredients very similar to what we have here in the Caribbean but put their own spins and twists on it because it's a different culture so these um, desserts are gluten free and, um, and well one is vegetarian and the other one is vegan and um, I think it's going to be really interesting and delicious for you to see them so um, Lynn hi how, how, how's everything going there very warm today <laughs> <laughs> I'm also Lynn, using Famous CNH sugar, which are uh, the plantations. <laughs> which they still yeah. have like some of the docks that they use. Same to here, on. same here. So you yeah. know that we just swim on them now. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you're probably gonna see some of my zanier side come out in this episode because that's just what Lynn brings out. And as you can see, she's a bit of a energy cannon. So <laughs> let's see if we can, you know keep this going for the hour and if she can get everything done on time this is like serious iron chef no, moment. I, I'm a crammer and this is in college I was known for cramming so that you are that you are girly and what a lot of people don't know is that Madeline is the inspiration behind Trini Gourmet in a very large way because after college she went off to culinary school and I was really inspired by the things she was learning and doing. It made me confident to go into the kitchen because I did not cook. I could not cook at all. And when I came back to Trinidad, I started showing her some of the things we had here, the dishes, and what caught her eye was a sizzle stick. A picture I had of a sizzle stick and I thought that was the most uninteresting thing of the things I had sent her and she could not get enough of this sizzle stick and she was like people overseas need to know this stuff this is amazing y'all could sell this internationally and I was like wow you know for real some of the things we have here recipes um, cooking implements and stuff they really are fascinating and interesting and I actually started Trini Gourmet that night I got the domain name and I started it so that's the girl to blame <laughs> if you like, love, hate the site. <laughs> so um, joining us as well. Hi, Larry. <laughs> hey, Serena. How are you? Larry Fenelier. Um, hey, hey Jace. <laughs> <laughs> one of the premier um, G Plus chefs here and also in Trinidad, not too far away from me. And actually, the reason I'm on G Plus in the first place, Larry brought me on Hi, here man. on the system. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> 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 so thanks for joining us tonight, Larry. And then on the other side of Larry is Jason Borden, who's Trini Gourmet's online community manager. So if you interact with the site via Twitter or Facebook, a lot of the times he's the one who's writing back to you. And last but not least, Dean Williams, who, you know, <laughs> technical difficulties prevented us from joining um, us last month. But he is here. He's in the building. He's rearing to go. He gets to do three songs tonight. So I am I'm excited. He's just a great jazz guitarist here. Hi, Dean. How's everything? I'm fine, Serena. Hi, Larry. Hi, Jason. Hi, Lynn. Hey, Dean. <laughs> so Hi. let's... Let's get right into it. Um, what are you working on right now, Lynn? I have assembled mochi ball dough. What are mo What is mochi? Because you're making two types of mochi today. Well, what are you making? Well, first of all, the first one we're making is called butter mochi. And it's actually, my mom calls it western style rice cake. But okay. <laughs> it's not really. Um, Hawaiians love it. And it's considered like a New Year's thing. But um, a local lady called me spoiled because I could get it whenever I want. So it's that much of a treat here. In fact, I wanted to show people that you could buy it in the stores. Want to bring it closer to the camera? Oh, should you look at Foodland? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yes, this is Hawaiian. Like they love this stuff, and um, actually, their food crazy good. <laughs> <laughs> and what is it made of? 
This is actually a tip. It's a very simple recipe. It's actually one pound of rice flour. I like the Mochico brand by Coda Farms. Um, they have the finest rice flour, if you ask me. And they're based out of California, ironically. So uh, <laughs> they're really good. So it's Mochico, one pound, two cups of flour, three eggs. So that's easy. Three quarters of a cup of oil, and two cups of milk. Very good. So all you do, mix it together, and then we just bake it. And I got the oven all preheated up in the back. 350 degrees? 350 degrees. It's supposed to go in for about 45 minutes to an hour. And I'm going to make it, I'm going to probably make it in 35 because I'm putting it in a smaller pan. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that, that, that way. <laughs> those are the shortcuts that we use for, um, for live broadcast. Um, I also read that you should let it cool for an hour before you cut it. So is that? Yes, yes but it doesn't so, happen in my family. Oh, so people just uh, dig right in, huh? Yeah, people just dig right in. It's always, it's always half gone by the evening. So, wow. What does yeah. it taste like? Is, is it just creamy? Is, is it milky? Is it? It's, it's, it's not milky. It's actually kind of chewy. Because mm, of the rice flour. Asians like. Asians like chewy. We love chewy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the greatest thing. Oh, I forgot one teaspoon baking powder just to give it a little lift. Little, yeah, little yes. lightness there. A little lightness. And so you're course, mixing up your mochi, your butter mochi dough now. Yes. So what does mochi mean? Does it mean like rice? It actually, it's uh, mochi rice just means sweet rice. So okay. mochi is like rice cake. Right. What, okay. And this one's just butter mochi. I don't know what the proper name for this. In Chinese culture, we call it New Year's cake, yan gao, and you're supposed to eat it during New Year's. But, but you just eat it all. <laughs> I eat it all year round because I can't help myself. <laughs> um, uh, yes, so I'm adding my liquid in now, and it's really fast. It's incredibly fast. Um, that is wonderful. I know, mochi is like... Um, Butter mochi people like to do because it's faster. The daifuku mochi is a little bit more labor intensive. And that's what we're going to get to next. Oh, as, yeah. soon as, you, as soon as you put this in the oven. Yes. I'm going to stir up this baby. Maybe you can see. Yeah, show us. Yeah, I'm trying to. But oh my God, it's heavy. <laughs> 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 what about those flower, um, those flower lifting arms you used to have? <laughs> what the flower? <laughs> <laughs> Lynn has worked in uh, quite a few professional kitchens, and I always got the stories about her lifting the 70-pound bags of flour. <laughs> or falling down the stairs with a 50-pound bag of potatoes. <laughs> okay, so the batter should be actually looking like this. It's very white and smooth and... Nice, yeah. And there's a little bit of viscosity to it. Just a skosh. Um, it will snap itself in later. <laughs> do you have to grease the pan? You should grease the pan. I like to do the, um, I'm you very bad. flour or you just grease? My mom likes the grease and flour. I just like the grease or pan, you know the pan spray. Spray release. Spray release. Is I don't the use the pan. I don't use the pan. Well, I'm too cheap to buy it. I only buy it when it's on sale. <laughs> 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 I'm not, I, I can't be bothered to buy it unless it's on sale, but I love spray release just for its general spray releasing properties. <laughs> <laughs> Especially yeah, like the industrial think. kind. You could pull out a fudge cake, you know, out of like this alu aluminum tin. So I buttered, uh, I oiled and floured. Nice. Oops, forgot the oil. Very important. What is, why, why is it very important? Three quarter cups oil. Yeah, and, and what does the oil do? Make it buttery. <laughs> <laughs> That's the exception to the whole thing. Like, there's like, most mochi has no oil in it. This is the only one. I've been thinking about doing it with just melted butter, but mm -hmm. I'm going to have to, like, be a little more careful since it's hot, blah, blah, blah. So, I'm going to pour it in the tray. And it's just like cake batter, it's not going to rise, so. 
In fact, it'll probably shrink, so you don't have to worry about, oh, I got to do three quarters of the way up or whatever. Yeah, no, just fill it right up. Just fill just it right up because it right might up. shrink. <laughs> it's going to get compact. So I'm, I'm thinking it's probably similar to a pawn in, in some ways. You think, Larry, like to, to maybe some of our pawn? Well, I think Larry's muted. Yeah, I was muted. Uh, yeah, it kind of reminds me of a pawn. I, yeah. That's the same exact thing I was thinking. Really? Because, mm -hmm. I don't know, in Spanish that's just um, a nickname for a little sucker. So. <laughs> <laughs> the chipon. I was like, where's your pawn? And the baby's like, no, ah. no, 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 <laughs> sweetie, sweetie, stay on track. <laughs> Meet us at the station, Lynn. Meet us at the station. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to clear this. You ready for the next one, girl? Yes, come on. I, I am excited about this mochi dough. These mochi balls, they just look so beautiful. I didn't know anything about them until Lynn mentioned them when we were brainstorming the menu for tonight. And um, I haven't seen anything like it before. It's steamed balls of these rice of this rice dough with yes. um, sweet fillings and um, dyed pastel colors. Very pretty. You know, you would think it was um, almost like that. truffles, but with chewy rice dough. I'm intrigued. <laughs> Chewy rice dough. Chewy rice dough. Dun, 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 dun. It is. I mean, the main, um, I, I did say, like, it's known for its elastic viscosity. Because it is. It's, it's just like, there's that weird elastic viscosity to it. But that's so, what I love, because we make a lot of things with cassava here, and cassava also gives um, that chewy mm -hmm. um, feeling, you know, that mouth oh, feeling. So I, I love that. What? Did we lose Lynn? What? I only use it when I make, uh, you know that Puerto Rican dish, uh, pasteles? Mm -mm. It's sort of like a tamale, but the Puerto Rican style. They put cassava and cooking bananas as the filling. That's oh, that sounds nice. Mm -hmm. see me do that. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Mm -hmm. We have to cook off together in the same kitchen one day, girl. <laughs> I hear a fet. Who have a fet in the house? I hear people. Yeah. Is you like that's why Larry was muted. Larry sounds like he's suffering, boy. <laughs> they have a um, night cricket, a uh -huh. night cricket game going on. Yeah. All right. How do they play the ball? There's there's lights. <laughs> well, in Hawaii, once it turns dark, no one does anything sporty. <laughs> So how's the so so? Tell us what goes into the mochi ball dough and what makes it different from the butter mochi. Same thing. One pound mochiko flour. Again, comes in one pound box. I swear they do this on purpose. They it's do so it on purpose. They do it on purpose. So this one pound, and then I'm going to need about two to three cups of water. Two cups sugar. Um, and that's basically what goes into the dough. This is it. Three ingredients. I love Crazy it. Part, after I steam it, I'm going to put this baby in. And that's the red bean paste. Red bean paste. And it says flour on the tin, though. Because I don't know why they call it flour. It, it just means that it's very fine. But uh, we call it on here, A-N. Just on. It was like, I just want on. So this one is specifically um. koshi on. Ah, so koshi on. Koshi on just means finer. This is what we're going to fill it with later. So I am going to mix. That is so simple. Like that is not intimidating at all. No. And I like that it's gluten free as well. I mean, people who are looking to have some quick gluten free desserts to expand their gluten free repertoire, I think this is um, some great ways to do it. Uh, the intimidating part comes later. <laughs> We're eating yeah. the people in, Lynn. <laughs> I am feeling them. In. You know what? My mom actually taught a friend of mine how to make mochi. Um, Cause he tried the uh, new modern way, where people try to microwave for five minutes and two Ooh. minutes. It's horrible. What's with Don't this whole that. thing about microwave in three minutes and have a wonderful dessert? <laughs> yeah, he ended up with this weird like uh, block. <laughs> So my mother was like, that's ridiculous. Tell him to come over. I'll, I'll show him how to make it. So 
that's what happened. And this is my mother's recipe. So, Mama Lynn, Mama Lise, Mama Lise, if you go on um, Lynn's blog where the recipes link to on Google Plus and as well on Trini Gourmet, you'll see Mama Lee's recipe. Ooh, big ups to Lynn's father as well. Hey, I heard you're, heard you're watching. Yep. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Long time no see. And Mom, if you're watching, because I know you're watching over his shoulder probably. Yeah, hi. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't Sorry, seen you in so long. Small. We use a lot of bowls here because I'm constantly cooking. Same here. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> All right. So once you mix it, and it mixes real fast because the flour is so fine. Fine, yeah. Rice flour fine, is, fine, just fine, sucks fine. up liquid. It just sucks it up. And, like, it's not like you have to let it sit, like, crepe batter. You let it sit for, like, half an hour, and then you stir it again or something. You know, um, so it's nice and easy like that. All right. You got a choice of colors, girl. Yes. I want pink. Although, I'll, what what do you think would go better with the red bean piece? Maybe pink wouldn't be as pretty with the red bean. I got purple, green, or teal. Lilac. Okay. Use a little touch, yeah, a little touch of purple. A little touch. Only a little touch. You want it to be pastel. Yeah. Although, I suppose if you want to be a renegade, you could have some neon mochi, or is that just <laughs> my irreverence coming Your up? Your irreverence. <laughs> and you know what? You know, kids here, if you don't fill it, and you just um, pour it out to a thing and let it cool down, like pour it out into a pan and chop it up and let it cool down. It's called chichi mochi, and it means it's for little children. Oh, that's so sweet. And it's so good. I mean, here they'll flavor it with coconut, papaya. Oh, sorry. Boy, it's, been <laughs> it's been helping. So do they fill it with those flavors, or they're flavoring the rice dough with they'll those flavor flavors? flavor the rice dough. Okay. Like the Hawaiians have actually gotten a little fancy. Like they have like cookbooks filled with mochi recipes. Like I want one. Hello. I'll find one for you. I could go to a local bookstore. Thank you, sweetie. All right. So I have my Genki steamer set up here. Nice. It's called Genki steamer set up because I don't believe I've worked you. I don't have everything I have in Hawaii. I do not have the luxury. So <laughs> I have this. Okay the little table thing and I put it in here. I have my pan lined with cheesecloth. Cheesecloth very important. Let me turn the heat on. Obviously not going to be making all of this because I made little pan. I, the big pan won't fit in here. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, you steam this for about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, great. So you're putting that to get started? Yes. Unfortunately, I have an electric stove, so, you know. It'll take a little while to reach the right yeah, I, miss I know. Gas. Same here. You Me know, too, rentals. but you know what? <laughs> rentals. Take what you get. So while that is steaming, I think it's time for our first song with Dean, um, Calip Soul. And these songs are from an album that Dean says isn't available, so, <laughs> but it will be available again. I think he's having it remastered or remixed. Yeah, he, he's doing some, some tweaks on the mixes. It's going to be even better, so as soon as it's available, I'm going to be letting you all know, but, you know, his music is just too good not to share, to wait on a release. So, first song, Calypso, everybody mute. Let's take it away.
Yay! Great job, Dean. Great job, Dean. Very good. So how how's everything coming along, Lynn? It's coming. It's still steaming. I have to poke at it. Oh, why do you have to poke at it? It's so you know when it's done. If it, you know how if you stick the stick in a cake, it comes out clean. Mm -hmm. it works the same way with mochi. It comes out That's clean. That's what stick. you're looking for. Are you looking well, for it to come out clean? Yes. Okay. I just thought you were poking it like some kind of half oh, dead no, no, bear. Yeah. <laughs> go, go, go away! Back, back! No, 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 no. Oh, okay. You're, you're making well, sure it comes out clean. Yes, you want to make sure it comes out clean because it's going to give a little bit. Okay, great. So how it, about we start juicing some carrots? We could. Why do I I'm say like, foil? <laughs> I know. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm already like a step ahead of something else. Sorry. You see? You see? <laughs> Come back to the station. Come Join back us. to the station, Lynn. Sorry. <laughs> I have my handy juicer back here, so I'm going to have to like... Nice. Oh, juicing. Yes, that's the EBA juicer. juicer. <laughs> I know. Can you tell? Hopefully, I won't break it. So, what do we have here? Ooh. I have Ra raise it. I'm seeing a gingerbread man, but I'm not seeing ingredients. Oh. What well, I got that? the bitters. Oh. Yeah, Angostura. We love them. I'm using four carrots, not three. Well, yours were small, so. Yes, they were small and organic. And and then the nutmeg is right here. Wonderful. And then I got mm, my favorite, sweetened condensed milk. Yeah. Oh, that, that brand is just everywhere. <laughs> it's the same tin wherever you go. No, they, they own the world. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start by juicing those carrots. And I love, you know, Trinidad carrot punch. I, I don't see it being offered when I come by people's homes the way I did when I was a kid. That's one of the reasons I put it in Glam by request because when I used to go by people, they would offer you some carrot punch a lot of the times and it was just a great homey memory, you know, and um, I had to put that recipe in there because, you know, people don't make it as often now, you know, they want to buy the ready-made drinks and have those things on hand, but, you know, with food processes now, back then they had to grate and squeeze and all of that. Now it's so much easier for us to make them and we're not, we're forgetting the recipes, so... You know, so just like you have the juicer there, juice those carrots. And if you, once you're done, um, if you just want to add some extra liquid to make sure you have two cups of liquid, Lynn. Yes. And okay, I also goodie. have to, like, cover the other side because it didn't come with the collection book. <laughs> again, eBay. <laughs> I, I know. Again, the guy who gave this to me, mm -mm. He, he had two. He gave me the Ganky one. Okay, nice, nice. I mean, it's like spitting out everywhere, so I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to just hold it up here. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. I know, this will be interesting. Come on, juice. <laughs> Don't confuse. <laughs> we haven't used this in a year. <laughs> Well, the carrot's going somewhere, <laughs> that's for sure. I know. Are your carrots juiceless, Lynn? <laughs> you know, why should we find the juice under here somewhere? Ah. It's at the bottom. Uh -huh. Oh, the hole was stuck. <laughs> Girl, I know. So, approximately how much carrot juice do you need? Two cups. Right. Hmm? Two cups. Yeah. That's a but lot. Of well, you just just add. Well, we blend like how I do it is I blend it in water. And then, you know, you have the, you know, because I'm 
I'm real kind of, I don't even have a juicer, so I just blend it in the water and then strain it and, and um, have the liquid left and then I add if I need to get back to the two cups. The carrot flavor is going to be strong enough, so don't, you know, don't worry if you need to add a good bit of water to um, bring it up to two cups. Well, I'm going to bring it up to one cup so we make a half a recipe. Okay, make half a recipe. And lots of bitters! All right. <laughs> well, then you're going to have to use half the bitters. I'm just going to like sit there and just put all the bitters in. No, no, uh, don't put all the bitters in. Use half. If you're using half, then half the rest. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Oh, dear. I'm never I know. sure. It was I'm, like, I'm uh, never sure. I'm never sure. She's like, I'm never inviting Lynn back ever again. Dude, you're going to be a repeat guest. Trust me. Oh, really? <laughs> You've just earned yourself. People are like, what's with that sloppy girl? We want to see her again. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I don't cook like this in a professional kitchen, believe me. No, you get really girl up. when you're in your professional mood. There's no time for laughter. I know. Really I know. Kevin's the only one who's ever, uh, my friend Kevin's the only one who's ever seen me in pro mode. <laughs> so. I know you're in pro mode, and not, maybe not in the kitchen, but I know you're in pro mode, and uh, it's as bad as me, so... <laughs> I'm it's a the smith thing. Great. And so I already added half. I decided to add half the tin, too, since we're only doing half. Yeah, the condensed milk? Yeah, Great. despite the fact that I was tempted to add the whole tin because it's yummy. No, 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 no. It's a very rich, sweet punch, so if you're having I it, stick to having it. condensed milk, just like. Yeah, most of us can, and most of us have. <laughs> I know, and I think that's why I have, like, a cholesterol problem. So. Okay, wow. <laughs> that's a different hangout. That's that's coming right up after. <laughs> yeah, we're, um, we're going to be talking about diets after this, and uh, diabetes-friendly diets. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to pour it in the Captain America cup. Nice. Oh, well, you just got into Jason's heart right there. Really? Oh. Yeah, yeah, marvel for the win. <laughs> Wait a minute, there's a group chat going on in here while I'm talking. I didn't even notice. Hey, hey. How's it tasting? <laughs> Come on, take a sip, take a All sip. All right, Captain America is backed up by Carrot Punch. Yeah, Trinidad Carrot Punch. Take a sip. Tweak anything you need to tweak. Oh, my God, it's so good. I actually don't like carrots. And but I can tell like, you were scared. Carrot juice down my throat. Carrots are only good for mirepoix. They're only good for stock. That's all I always said. And now this is actually really good, so I'm going to try that. That is, isn't it? Why aren't we offering this to people when they come over anymore? I was so mad because you didn't give me the chocolate punch, but now I'm okay. Yeah, it's, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> I'm fine now. I'm like, mmm. What do you think, Larry? When when last have you been offered carrot punch? <laughs> the last time I was offered carrot punch, I would say with about maybe 15 years ago. You understand? When, what when I when I when I made a visit back here, and it's lost. It's you, lost. You abs you're absolutely right. Your people don't do that again. And it's it's delicious. It's yeah. you know it's it's not overly processed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's on the sweet side. It's but on it's a the sweet treat. side. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a treat, mm -hmm. and you're still mm -hmm. getting all those raw carrot benefits. <laughs> so take a little run after, and it'll even out. It'll balance. <laughs> and the well, leftover fiber, so I put it in meatballs. Yes. From, I put it in meatballs, mm. uh, like meatballs. Mm. Yeah, and it's it's also good for like the meat any meat filling, any meat filling. I also use it in a muffins. Muffins, yeah. You know, sometimes, you know, depending on um, the type of pancake, what vibe I'm going for, I, I might use oh, it in yeah. that. And I saw a recipe recently I wanted to try for four crab cakes using like nori and, and carrot pulp and something. So I, I oh, thought yeah. I would, yeah, I thought I would try that. Mm. So, you know. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? So. Yeah. You know, there are uses for the pulp when you make these things, when you use the juicers, and, uh, you know, don't, don't throw out the pulp. You know, it's really yeah, good Yeah, the stuff. pulp is precious, because uh, fiber pulp. is good for you. Remember, we need over 22 grams a day. You go, girl, with your statistics. <laughs> <laughs> you have your numbers. But you, you know what? I'm inspired now by Lynn. 
and what you said, Serena, I I might make some of that this weekend. Exactly. Bring back the old time mm -hmm. days, right? Mm -hmm. That's what it's about. Yeah. Exactly. It tastes so good. Oh, I think I'll make some tomorrow. I'm making a, a, a big <laughs> dinner tomorrow with macaroni pie and kalu and stew peas. So I'm thinking, hmm, I think some carrot punch could go down with that too, you know. So, mm -hmm. Julia! Oh, Julia. Well, guess what's ready? Dinner. What's ready? <gasps> Is our mochi dough ready? Ready. Let's and, see that. Uh, you can tell Wait. because. Of all right. Course. Check this out. When you look at this, if I could do I this. I see the to holes. It, yeah. Yes. And you see how I'm poking at it? It's not really sticking to me. And sticking. That's when you know it's done. Now, this is the hot work part. So I'm going to actually clear this up so you can see my. Uh, I put down aluminum foil because that's how mom did it. <laughs> And I have potato starch. You can use corn starch too. Uh, my mom always used corn starch because potato starch was hard to get. But now that I'm in Hawaii, it's real easy to get. So, asbestos fingers, me. Pour it out. I still have asbestos fingers. The plight of the professional cook. <laughs> I know. I don't have nerve endings. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> So sometimes you have to pry it out. Now, when you're steaming the dough, you, that pan isn't greased, is it? No, you don't need to grease it because the main thing is this. <laughs> <laughs> I think some nerve endings are trying to come back here. Hey, you know, I haven't cooked in a while professionally. I've just been dancing, so. Lynn is an aerial dancer now, y'all. So, you know, when you see those Cirque du Soleil's and they're entwining and those. Yep. <laughs> That's her thing now. That's what I do for fun. All right. Actually, I'm not going to take this whole thing out now because this is what it's I like. Is it, is it just a camo or is it slightly purplish? Oh, that's the, um, the tint. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Remember lovely. You wanted the purple. I did. Okay, so what you do is you usually pinch off a bit here. So, and be very generous because they'll stick to everything after a while. And where did I put my can opener? I try to have everything in front of me and the can over like always walks away. It kind of blends into the kitchen. The various <laughs> mise en place. <laughs> yes. Mine just likes to walk. I don't know why. So this is what the paste looks like. I'm going to take out a spoon. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> So wow. it's a zucchini bean paste, and it's sweetened. I, I usually I, put a, mm -hmm. I'll put I find that zucchini has a chocolatey quality to it that I like. It does, it does, it does. I'm going to see how big. Well, dai fuku, dai means big, so I guess I have to make big. So try to, like, form it out. Put it in there. Mm. Then you just wrap it up. Oh, that's so uh, nice. It up. I like that. There you go. Great. One little daifuku mochi. And that's it? You don't have to do anything else? No, no additional that's it. Let it cool down. Ready to eat and serve? Let it cool. That is it's amazing. Real that's hot brilliant. Right real it's hot. Real hot. <laughs> it's nice. real hot. But you know, the reality is, it's like it cools down fast, and it's usually gone in my family in like minutes. Oh my gosh. Minutes. And if you want to be fancy, some people get real fancy. There's other kinds of beans. Uh, they actually, I believe it's a, they grind up lima beans and sweeten them. Really? I, that, that, that would probably be a little more cost effective on my side than the adzuki, but I definitely will try the adzuki, but I, I'm game for the lima beans. Yeah, I mean, it's... I'm the, adventurous. They call it white bean paste. Mmm. Because it comes out white. All you right, put a lot on that one. I did, because I'm kind of greedy now. I was about to say, you got a little greedy there. Torn, torn yourself down. You're on, you're, 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 you're on broadcast. <laughs> but now it's now this is the proper size. I feel better now because this is the proper. That is size. huge. That's hey, die. Die. <laughs> All right. That's die. die. You know, big. That's the character. Well, no, that's not the character. Wow. 
So you eat that more like a bun than, than you're popping the whole thing in your mouth at once. Yeah, right? this is not the graceful like, <laughs> you know, uh, tea party mochi. Those are really small and beautiful, and they spent half an hour working on each one, you know, putting a flower on it. So. <laughs> we ain't got time for that. We don't. No, families don't. And besides, those are called wagashi. And those are like for new, the fancy, fancy New Year's, weddings, you know, that sort of thing. You'll always have a little, you'll lose a little because of the cheesecloth. Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Yield, cost, yield, yeah. That is, that is amazing. I yeah, can't wait so, to try that. Yeah, this is so fun. It's, 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 so it's vegan, it's gluten-free. We're covering some pretty cool um, dietary areas there just with that one dessert. I know, and like the Japanese, they pick up of everything, and then they brought it to Hawaii, and now it's an addiction. Um, there's this bakery here, like uh, they're called Two Ladies, and uh, they make some of the most awesome mochi in the um, in the island. In the town. I don't live in the city, in the town. <laughs> and um, every time I try to fly back to the mainland with it. People on other islands like Honolulu, the inspection people are like, oh, no, you can't take that with you because they know who it is. They're trying to steal my mochi. <laughs> yeah, like customs people try to steal the mochi. Oh, no, 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 just joking. You know, you take it. But, but while you finish rolling those up, I think it's time for our next musical break, next yes. number. Loving this song, Island Breeze, from Dean, again. So everybody mute and um, take it away. Hey, Dean.
perfume. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. That's what it's about. And you all can check out Dean check on, out Facebook. on Facebook. Um, oh, David. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you all still have me on studio there. Yeah, you all can check out Dean's music on Facebook, Dean Williams on um, Facebook, Trini, Gu Trini Guitar Man. Um, you'll get more information there about his live shows here in Trinidad, what he's up to, what he's doing, and also about his recordings. And I also have the links to some of his other music profiles on trinigourmet.com. So just look for Five Questions with Dean Williams. It's on the homepage right now. And um, yeah, <laughs> really brilliant stuff. How's that coming along, Lynn? Ooh. Ooh, played it. <laughs> I had to play it out. <laughs> Crazy girl. The giant messy one in the middle, and the and the more petite, not as messy around the outside. But before we wait, 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 before we chomp, before the chomp, I just want to say hello to Julia. Hi, Julia and Janice, who just joined us. Hi. Janice is an amazing gluten-free baker, and that's one of the reasons I invited her in on this episode, because these are glute some gluten-free desserts. All the desserts are made with rice flour, um, Hawaiian rice flour desserts here. So I just thought that's just really wonderful, because a lot of times with gluten-free eating, people feel a little restricted. They feel that you know they can only recreate what they already know, and sometimes you just have to step into another culture, and you might find a whole range of already, you know, there for you, gluten-free options. So I, I thought these were some nice dessert ones. Yeah, yeah. and also yeah. some parts of Asia, wheat is not accessible. So. <laughs> Are you still drinking? Did you put anything extra in that carrot punch, Lynn? No, but I should have. Let me go look for the tequila. <laughs> wait, wait, before the tequila. Oh, and we lost her. Back to the, yes, thank you. <laughs> Taste, taste the mochi balls. I want. I, I, All right, they're cooled down. So, well, they're cooled down enough for like you know my snacking needs. But this is. I love this part. <laughs> Just like mamas. <laughs> <laughs> What's it taste like? Describe it. Just bring it to life with your words. Look at the stretch. The elasto viscosity. <laughs> oh my God, wow. that's so strange. Isn't it weird? Uh, there's a whole chemical. There's actually a little bit of protein in this, which yeah. is very, very surprising. But it's not gluten. It's that's a what, rice protein. Is it? Um, is it? It's sweet rice flour. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I could eat these all day. Like between these two, I think I'm going to gain 10 pounds today. <laughs> Thank you, Mama Lee. <laughs> and how about the butter mochi? Is it is it ready to come out the oven, or are we going to have to? Uh, we got 10 more minutes. Nope. No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> if you're gonna cut the pre-made one. <laughs> I know that's the real reason you brought it to the show. Yeah, because it tastes like well, you know what? It tastes like mine anyway. <laughs> Mine's just better. Oh, okay, because I was gonna say, are you trying to say your food tastes store bought? Because that's yeah. <laughs> No, actually. Um, they actually make these by hand. There's no oh, way. Nice. Can, there's no way you can machine make these, oh, unless okay. you have. Very few people have that big industrial mochi machine. That's like tens of thousands of dollars. No one can afford that here on this island. <laughs> wow. It like It'll end up looking like this. Actually, my mom likes to make it a lot. Oh, that's lovely. Bring that up to the camera. So she likes to make it a lot thicker. Hers is this thick. And she'll put the red bean paste and swirl it in there to bake with it. But here wow. in Hawaii, we like it plain. And um, but they make it a little flatter because it cooks faster. And mm -hmm. the top is just like it's it's a it, it's a moist top. Nice. A moist and sugary, so it's nice. <laughs> nice, like a flan kind of, huh? Kinda, yeah. And then again, not as much elasto -vis viscosity in the thing when you break it. But there's still chewiness. I think that's like the pool and the cassava. But I'm thinking cassava pool when you tell me about mm -hmm. chewiness. Don't even talk about. Mm -hmm. Don't even talk about cassava. Will you stop mm -hmm. with the cassava?
cassava. I, I'm gonna make you believe in cassava. I'm gonna I don't. come over there and make you. I'm gonna make you believe. I'm gonna make you believe in cassava. And they grow. It's it grows here. I could buy it for seventy five cents for this thing that's this big. I still don't buy it. <laughs> well, this this show's over. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what you said, Julia? I I have my ways. I like cassava. Yeah, I, cassava is good I stuff. Share cassava, yeah, it can be good. It can be good. I'll make you a believer, Lynn. I like I said, I only use it when I make pasteles, so, <laughs> and that's hard work and like a whole day. So. So how does the butter mochi taste though? Like how how is it different in taste from the daifuku? It tastes more um, because of the oil and the eggs. There is this like, and there's this buttery, eggy flavor to it. So it's more like a cake, like a custody. Mochi. Is it custody? Kind of like uh, Very, uh, like a thick, 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 thick custard, like the thickest custard you could think of. Like, kind of like the um, the custard and egg tarts. Ooh, yeah, I'm harder, harder yeah. than that. Yeah, it's a lot harder. The rice flour is what keeps the shape, but it is delicious. I love it. There's not a lot of leavening that happens. But it's just it's it's mochi. You can still tell it's rice flour, but it's like two things that come out of the same object, but they are slightly different. This one's much chewier. There's um, a more simple flavor to it because there's only three ingredients. This one has a lot more, so you have that cake feel to it, along with the the rice flour and everything else. But they're both yummy to me. I mean. Geez, this stuff does not last long in my house. When I want to either away. Yeah, I'm telling you that. <laughs> I think so. I'm a cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to give it a try. <laughs> so where we're where we're heading? Let me just make sure that there aren't any questions that I'm. Any, did anybody have any questions in the, in the hangout? I don't know. I was hoping y'all would just speak up if you did. <laughs> it, it, it looks good though. Yeah. yeah. I know food science. If anyone's questions. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So before we head well into wrapping up because we're we're pretty much done. You did great, Lynn. Mm -hmm. You stuck to time. You promised you would and you did. Mm -hmm. Am I good or what? You are good. Years of cramming in college have paid off. <laughs> Half an hour before the show was to start, Lynn was like, We start in half an hour? <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> so she did really great for somebody who thought she had another three hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm good. I'm going to like fly by my pants. So. Yeah, no, you're, you're amazing. So thanks I know. so much for coming on. We're definitely going to have you back because you're just well, crazy like that. Well, thank you for like inviting girl. me. <laughs> Give me another punch. This thing is good. I, see, I knew you were scared when you only made half, but now you're gonna now you regret it, and you want to make another half. I do regret it because you know, like I'm all scared of carrots and everything, but now I just <laughs> I want to drink it. See, she loves it. She did add carrot punch, people. It's got powers. It's got properties. <laughs> it's got strength. It's a punch with strength. <laughs> Captain America says. <laughs> So next week, I'm coming back at y'all with um, a recipe that Larry would know well, Sankoch, <laughs> which is a uh, yeah, uh, thumbs up, a very traditional Saturday stew soup here in Trinidad and other islands in the Caribbean, but you know, there's variants, so I'm just going to do it the Trinidad way because that's what I know. And um, I'm going to be pairing that with some other interesting things, some little twists, so um, tune in for that next week. And um, I'm not sure who the musical guest is yet. So if there isn't one, you're with me for the whole hour. If not, I'll announce that. And um, let's see. Before that, I just want to thank every. Before we close out, I just want to thank everyone for coming. I want to thank, of course, Lynn, <laughs> our featured cook, <laughs> Larry for popping by, <laughs> and you have the Pirates Pub tomorrow as well. Yeah, Pirates Pub and Kids in the Kitchen on Sunday. On Sunday. Fried rice, right? Fried rice, so, yeah. Yes. And Kids in the Kitchen is a new show here on G Plus where Larry has literally kids cooking in the kitchen. So kids <laughs> cooking for kids and big people. Make them work, exactly. All make that free lodging. 
There's nothing worse than an adult that can't cook. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yes. Yeah. words, but I agree. <laughs> Thanks for popping in, Julia and um, Janice. And to play us out, I'm going to have Dean now. You know, everybody's loving the whole George Benson vibe that Dean came with. But one of the things that I learned early on was that Dean was actually like a death metal kind of guy before he got all jazzy. And you know, so they, say what? So that was supposed to be a secret. No. Hey, it's on YouTube. Once it's on YouTube, oh. Dean, <laughs> there is proof of his, his roots in metal. You got so. a new fan for the punch. Hey, Angel. Hello. <laughs> Trinidad Carrot Punch, you approve it, Angel? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> His Caribbean side came out. He was like, yay! <laughs> Angel ready to whine. You understand. Well, they want to come hey, down for Carnival, can. so that needs to happen. That needs to happen. <laughs> but um, as I was saying, Dean was a rock guy, he was a bit of a rock god there with his, his guitar and stuff, and so I thought, hey, let's pay a little homage to that, even though he's in the jazz vibe. I really like this track, Super Speed, it's a little edgier, a little punchier, and um, that's what's going to play us out. So thanks for joining us, everyone. See you next week. Take it away, right. Dean. All right, thanks for having me, Serena. Yeah.